Lately, I've been of the camp or the mindset of if you're having trouble starting, just start. And if you go back probably to, I don't know what you had to hop around, if you go to my other channels, I think a lot of my videos have started with that energy and that look on my face of, I don't know where to start, but I'm just starting. And then before you know it, whoosh, we're at the end. So this is one of those videos as well. I'm just starting just to start because I don't know where to start. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Albert Lopez and you are in the Mr. Albert Lopez channel. Today we're going to be kind of vlogging but I'm also going to show you kind of what I'm working on. My daughter creates content on the internet as well. She has a YouTube channel, links down below. She also has an Instagram where she creates these awesome looks. And we're in October, which is a Halloween month. She needs a sword for a look that she's doing based on the theme. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, and this video is dropping before that one, so I won't say it. She needs a sword. So, my first initial idea was, is this getting boring? I don't even know if, this today's a tough one, I'll tell you, but I'm still gonna get through it. All right, so here we go. We're upgrading a plastic sword. Period. There you go. You want a little bit of a story? Listen to what I said. Along the way, I'll tell you a little bit more. And I just so happen to have everything here. So yeah, let's just get started with today's uh, video. Just so you know, this is, this is, I don't know if this is, just to be honest, I guess, this is not a DIY that I've done before. I have customized a ton of stuff in my life. I just love customizing things. I find it so fascinating. This exact customization or upgrade or fiddle around or possibly mess up, I've never done before. So have fun in watching me either A, pull it off or B, mediocre it or C, just throw it away and go buy another one. I got my two things. I probably need scissors, which I don't have. Other than that, let's just uh, let's just get started, I guess. Upgrade video. How to turn a plastic sword into a metal sword. See if it works. Uh, uh, as I go get the scissors. So uh, yeah, let's let's have fun. If it works, I'll give you the uh, parts list and the links in the bottom, and then uh, yeah, we'll just we'll go from there. Let's roll. Basically, what we're gonna do is we have a ninja sword with sheath. I gotta Google that. I didn't know that a sheath is the cover for the blade. A, a cooler way to say here's the cover for the blade is here's the sheath. I hope I'm saying that right. Let's get started. I'm assuming Save that. Oh, it has a signature. Can you see that? Right there, I don't know, you can see it. It says Randy Jackson from American Idol. It was in the package, I didn't open it. The sheath is pretty cool. It got the gold tip and the handle is super sick. It has the gold kind of sparkly shimmery on the strap. It has just some kind of lifted uh, design here, which makes it look really nice. It has a design here on a decal. And then of course the handle, the protector, this probably has a fancy name too, a protector for your hands between the blade and the handle. So we will slowly remove the sheath. Alright, so we'll put this to the side. Still looks cool, but it's gray. It's obviously plastic. So let's see what we can do to turn this into a shiny blade. Alright, so there's the sword. Don't think I left you. I'm right here. So here we go. This is what we're working with. Let's give it a shot. 
So what we're gonna try to do, like I said, is we're gonna try to make this sword a little bit shine. Whoa. We're gonna try to make this sword look a little bit more beaster for the shot. So what I figured that I'd do is I'm gonna get some metallic tape. I'll link all the stuff in the bottom, of course, like always. See if you can see it. There you go. Hopefully we can make this sword shiny. Now I could tell you a little bit of why I do this. My daughter does really cool looks on her Instagram. I don't know if I said it already, but I will link her down below in case you want to see where she uses this sword. She puts up really cool looks, and whenever she can, she uses props. Oh, this is thin. First turnaround, I ruined. Oh, I see. It's kind of like a giant sticker. Okay, so what we're going to do, probably start off with a piece like that. So I'm just going to come over here and cut off the messed up part. Now I got two pieces. I don't know how flexible this is. This sword does have, it's not straight. The initial plastic sword has a bit of an arch to it. You see that? So I'm hoping that the tape is somewhat flexible which it doesn't feel like it is. So if I could manage to lay it down, we should be able to fit it within the size of the tape. Make sure you got enough tape. So again, this is like, imagine, imagine getting foil and putting like adhesive on one side. That's what this feels like, thick foil paper. So try not to bend it like I just did. Straighten it first. Yeah, how nice and smooth we are. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to end up ideally like this, so I can get it all in one shot. Let's give it a shot. I wonder if I, oh, that's a good idea. I'm gonna clamp it here so it doesn't move. And I'm gonna clamp it here so it doesn't move now i'm able to lift this up remove the adhesive it's good adhesive by the way that's some good that's some good sticky stuff sticky icky 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 i'm not too concerned with the base because i know i could always go back in there and shove in a little piece of uh, foil and I did miss some pla I'll, I'll show you, I don't know if I can show you, I did miss some of the plastic there, but I, I'd rather put a little piece of foil there and get this nice and covered as opposed to having to put it out here by the tip. So I'm gonna move these spacers over. I mean, these uh, little clips over that are helping me and then just unpeel from the bottom. That seemed to have worked out pretty good. All right, so I'm right at the edge. But I should be okay. Taking that ironing out all the kinks. And of course, it's not going to be perfect. Remember, like I said at the beginning, this is, these are props. You know, these are just, these are not meant to be replicas. You're just having some fun. Just trying to make something look super cool from just regular cool. So if, if you do mess up a little bit or if you do get a wrinkle here or just something doesn't look as good as you thought it was going to be, it still looks better than it was. It still looks cooler than it was. And yours is probably going to be rather unique because no one else did this unless they watch my video. So I'm going to cut the excess off just so it doesn't fold over and become something ugly. I'm going to cut it just leaving a little bit at the end so I can... Fold it over. How dope that looks already. If I fold this over all the way, I'm gonna have a flap here. So I'm gonna cut it right at the edge, just so it gets on the thin side of the blade, on the sharp side, if you will. Exacto knife. Be very careful when working with an exacto knife. So here's my extra. Just kind of get rid of it. All right, so there we go. We cut the excess part from one side. Now we're just going to fold it down. So we're doing the other edge now. We cut out the excess. Now we're looking at this. We have the top part that I cut off there. It's all the way around. You got a little bit of wrinkles up on top. Remember, who cares? We cut this side as well. This is the round side, the sharp side. So we got one piece that covered this side. So now you got the shiny sword different look 
versus the plastic sword. Looks a little different. So now, the flip side, same deal. We're gonna get our piece. Now I learned a few tricks, right? So what we wanna do is we wanna flatten it out. And we learned that if we use these clips, it doesn't damage it and it holds it in place. So now we're gonna use them, uh, we're gonna use them again, definitely. So we're gonna set it on top, making sure see it sticks out there a little bit. So I wanna twist it this way, make sure I don't pass the sharp edge. So I think there, I put my first clip, I put my second one, and I'm gonna flip it just to make sure that I got the coverage I want. And sure enough, rinse, repeat, do the same thing on the other side. Remember, since this is just a toy, this is just a prop, the nicer you can make it look, little could make up for the imperfections that you had no that you had no control of so i peel off i peel off and then just kind of this is a new technique i'm trying just kind of peel off the end not leaving any any hardcore presses i think i got to the edge already yeah that's the end so there we go. And let me say it now, probably a good idea, a really good idea, that if this doesn't work, I'll just have to do over, is before you start laying down the adhesive silver tape, I would probably have wiped this down with some sort of a solvent, like just getting some window cleaner and wiping it down of any oils it may have. This side I'm not cutting because the flap just lands right on the edge of the, uh, of the sword anyways. So I'm just flapping it over and pressing. This one starts coming over a bit since it's bigger. So I probably will use uh, one of my scissors here. So here we go. Here's your samurai sword. I'm gonna try to polish it right now a little bit, see what it ends up looking like. Compare this to the beginning of the video where it was still plastic. So what I'll do is I'll grab a towel or a rag or whatever, and as I'm, I'm polishing it, I'm also pressing up against all the creases. So there's a crease right there, there's a crease there. And if you notice, all my fingerprints are starting to, to come off and it's getting a little shinier. I like the results. It ended up looking how I expected and I'm kind of ha happy with that. You got to be proud of yourself for your work. You got to be proud of yourself with anything that you try and even if it didn't come out as good as I wanted it to, you really do have to give yourself credit for anything that you try just for trying. So there you have it folks. I hope you could uh, see the shininess. I hope you can see the reflectiveness. Looks a little bit more metallic, a little bit more metal, a little bit more like a sword. Hope it helps let me know anybody who you, in the comments if you ever tried it if you did it if it worked out uh, if you have a better idea this is just something that i came up with five days ago and this is the first time i actually tried it and i already learned a little bit if i were to try it again but i hope it helps i may not have to do it ever again so this is why i wanted to record it and vlog it see if it helps anybody else and at least get some ideas to improve off this or even just try it like this and know that it will make your plastic toy sword look that much doper Thanks for watching, I hope it helped. I'll link some stuff down below if you want to check it out, if you want to just have it delivered and products that I use, the tape, the sword. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. I'm gone.